An old barn that was once filled with dairy cows now houses the Toy Train Barn Museum that Buck has been planning since he was five years old. It is a miniature railroad wonderland filled with whimsy that will spark your imagination. This amazing museum has been around for 20 years and is one of the most unique museums in Wisconsin. In this video, we will show you the animations in detail and learn from Buck himself how he makes some of the magic happen. Hey, welcome back to Love Nesters. We are in Argyle, Wisconsin, which is about 35 minutes south of Madison. We are at the Toy Train Barn. The it? Toy Train Barn. The Toy Train Barn. It is a train display like none other. Can't wait to show it to you. Like none other. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. We're gonna see it all come to life though, with the push of a button by you. Okay, I love it. Probably the most fun part of the day. It is gonna start the train. got steam coming out of it. <laughs> you probably know all that, but <laughs> that is so cool, yes. There's a guy over here making hot dogs. That there's an old thermos is what was used for the barn silo. I hear the train are coming. Central right here. Check out the guy cutting his grass. Give me a minute, come get a picture of this. Alright. Yeah, take a picture of this guy that just derailed the train. Oh! It's going up good. Who Hold did on. This? Who did, Who did this? this? You derailed the train? You've been in here five minutes and already. you derailed the train. Did you really derail that yeah, train? I did. 
What were you doing? I was I was videotaping. I don't know that he's certified to. I, oh no. <laughs> he didn't have it right. Certified to knock it off. Yes. So the guy in the front there is the mayor of Argyle. Look at this. There's a there's an alien abducting a cow. So I hear you have like microwave oven panels. Is this one of them? This is. Okay, so everything's coming to life. Now, did your wife make these too? She made a lot of these little pieces. These little teeny ones? Yeah, they vary. These she ones. made those? In... Oh my gosh. You're just a talented family. Guys, fishing. All the flowers, especially when you all, oh my gosh, all out of clay. What? So this is really a project, though. You guys do together. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. He's actually drinking a coke. Just watching there a second. The guy over on the right coming with a bag truck, and all that kids taking a drink. Where? Oh, the house is on fire. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's water coming. Where's the water going? Oh my gosh, this is so incredible. I mean, what you can't capture on film here is the smells of the smoke and everything going on. Look at this person is swimming in the pool. It's incredible. There is so much to see here. There's somebody bringing food at the drive-in. So I love that what he said, that they can disassemble this particular display here and they take it out to nursing homes and other special events. I am so glad that other people get to see this outside of Argyle. They certainly have won a number of awards. I also was able to find out from Buck that he and his wife do this together. I love that. This is a shared hobby as love nesters. We are always looking for shared hobbies. Look at this. This is a drive-in movie setup playing the Dick Van Dyke show. Okay, so apparently think movie is boring and there's some action going on in that car. Oh, I miss that. So I love what they have set up here at the different um, venues. They have I spy things, so you can look for the two Batmobiles, the lady trading a horse, the pool party. There is just so much to see here. A miniature railroad museum inside the railroad museum. Rides are all running off the other motors from like uh, microwave ovens and uh, VCRs. Like that. That's a scram. I mean, there's so yeah. much detail here. Yeah. The more you look, the more you see. Now, this you is a music box. Oh. I bought it for 10 cents at a uh, garage sale. Well, and are those light bright pegs? Oh, yeah, I recognize the light bright pegs. And did you say you started this at yeah. five years old? I started this all along. Uh, idea of this museum when I was just five years old. And wow. I've just been gathering and putting it together and collecting it until the time is right. Have you always been in this location? Yeah, we opened back in 2000. So, what is that, a microwave or anything? Oh, that's a motor from a microwave. It's okay. some magnets and some Tupperware and a piece of rubber hose and some sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> What didn't you think of? This is just really cool how it works. It'll just take off and go. And then away they go. Oh, 
other guy, I, I made that out of pieces of other things. Like, how old were you when you made that? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Oh, my. This and is pieces from a Timex watch machine and a player piano job and a smoker out of a toy train. Christmas tree bugger. That one I recognize. Yeah. I call it something for nothing that does something. That is amazing. It's cool. You, you, you know, I couldn't just go get something, so I would just stick things together. I don't know what is it. I mean, you're figuring out smoke at eight years old. Oh, yeah. So what do they run for, like 15 minute increments? Oh, no, I measure my life usually in 99.99 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> when it goes beep, 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 I go, oh, there goes another 99. They work well. Yeah, they do. Oh my yeah. gosh, that helicopter is taking off. Look at that. Just a lid from like a Culver's Sunday. Yeah. Just fiber by the tornado and he's gonna get hurt. <laughs> White metal once and every uh, weekend, she a week she'd get a little uh, penny for a trinket and uh, she collected them. She, she saved them. Yeah, yeah. What I find fascinating is Buck takes items that you would never expect to be put in a model railroad and, and he creates wonderful buildings out of these. Two trains on this layout. See the red one? Yeah. It's got three cars. There's an really? old train. Something. What yeah. gauge is this train? This is N. N. Gauge. N. Yeah. Wait a minute. How do yeah, you? Yeah, no, wait a minute. That's the yellow train. See the yellow one? I see four cars yeah. on the red. I yep. see the, the yellow. red train. What the? Here wait a minute. Where one. did that? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. wait, look how long this guy is. There it is. It's a yellow train. Look at that. What? But did it switch tracks? Look at this when the red one goes Wait, through. What? It comes right out. Yeah. <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> you got me befuddled. Z scale. Yeah. These are the smallest electric trains, but they're all electric. Z after Alfred Zook. Look, Alfred Zook, a very shiny, was a big uh, Z train fan. This is a coffee table. Jane and I built this when we first got married and we lived in the trailer. You guys have been doing this forever. Oh, yeah. I just love that. Right here, my grandfather, he got this back in like the 1890s. I can't tell you for sure unless I look at the note. Yep. There's a little note there that says this is for Bucky, which is me. And he tells me about his little train and when, when he got it when he was a kid. Also, he tells me about his marbles. <laughs> I, lo I love that because he tells you about the shooter and how oh. they play marbles. But more importantly, I love this part. I know he never lost his marbles. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> and this was my dad. This was your dad. Yeah. So your whole family, you grew up loving trains. Your whole family was into it then. Yeah. yeah. And are these, these are like old tin trains. These yeah, have to be. Yeah, these are some parts trains and some pocket wind-up trains. Oh, wow. It's, uh, Thanks so much for yeah. being with us today, Buck. This is a fabulous place right outside of Argyle, Wisconsin. The Toy... The toy Train Barn. The Toy Train yeah, Barn. Just look it up. Look it up on... Google or Facebook. The World Wide Web. <laughs> this That's is fun. This is a must-see. A lot of fun. 
Hey, welcome back to Love Nesters. We just had a fabulous time at the Toy Train Barn in Argyle. It was a fantastic place to visit. Buck, the owner, did such a great job of showing us all of the intricacies of this toy train. It was incredible. Such a creative place, and we got a chance to meet his wife. It's so neat to see that they have pursued this hobby together. Pursued a passion. We love that. We go on these adventures every week. If you're looking for fun ideas, we'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to the channel. Why not? Thanks for being Thanks here. Thanks for being here.